Welcome everyone, here is iOS 26 in my iPhone 11. The first new change is you can see this whole new home screen layout with these beautiful new app icons. Now to compare them to the iOS 18 icons, on the right is iOS 18, take a look at the camera, photos, clock, and so you can see they have redesigned the icons entirely. Now with the liquid glass feature, in iOS 26, they also change how many of the user interface elements look. So I'm gonna turn on the liquid glass feature in my home screen. And so you can see that the app icons now have this clear and translucent appearance. And as I move my, uh, you know, swipe my finger across the home screen, you can see it has this beautiful fluidly shifting cover uh, color and it has this nice depth and highlight around all of the elements that have the liquid glass feature and this extends to parts of applications so your menu buttons inside of apps they also have the liquid glass look and so you can see as I swipe across just take a look at the menu right here it has this really beautiful effect and surprisingly even though the iPhone 11 is the oldest iPhone and the slowest one that supports iOS 26, it still has liquid glass with no compromises and it really does look extremely beautiful. I mean, there it is right there. But there is more to iOS 26. So first of all, if I open the camera app, you will notice that there is a new camera app redesign. So instead of all the modes you see in the past, you just have video mode, and photo mode option. If you want to access settings, you swipe up from the, not from the arab bomb, but from here-ish, swipe up, you get the settings, and you can also tap this icon right here as well. But to access other modes, like your slow motion, your time lapse, just swipe between left and right. You can see the liquid glass effect on the user interface, really beautiful, but you can also see all of your other modes here as well. Now, many of you will be happy to hear that they did kind of fix the gallery app. So in iOS 18, you had to swipe all the way to the bottom to access your albums. And so it's really annoying. So here is the iOS 18. You see you're in your photos and you have to swipe up and you have to keep on swiping and swiping just to find what you want. But with iOS 26, they have removed that. So you just tap on collections and then you can scroll down and you can look exactly for you uh, for what you want. There's absolutely no problems there. Now on the topic of liquid glass, you will notice that the gallery app does have that liquid glass effect, but this effect has been moved over to effectively every system app and many third party apps are gonna start using the liquid glass design. So if I open up Safari, for example, you're gonna notice that you, know, you have the liquid glass effect on the search bar and in many apps where the search bar used to be at the top, they have moved it to the bottom. In Safari, you also notice there is just this back button, but you can long press this one. So let's try long pressing it. So this used to work. You used to be able to long press this to go forwards. I think the search is frozen, so let's reload it. And there we go. After the long press, you do have the forward option. And so, you know, um, in the past, you just had forward backward there. You have to long press now. And if I go to the App Store, you will notice a new App Store look. So let's get rid of this liquid glass here. You have the search bar there, and it is now at the bottom of the screen. So that is something they got up to. Now, there was a bunch of Apple Intelligence changes where if you long press for the Apple Intelligence, you have a bunch of new features. However, with iOS 26, there is no Apple Intelligence in the iPhone 11. So unfortunately, you will not be able to use any of those, but you will be able to use the new features in the phone app is they have concentrated the favorites, recents, and voicemail into just one view. But in order to get that new view, you need to go into recents, then tap this icon at the top right. Then you should have the option which says unified. And so when you use this one, you'll get the new cool view. And so that just merges all three of them into one. If an unknown caller calls you with iOS 26, the call will immediately be forced into voicemail. 
and the person will have to explain why they are calling you and then once that happens you can then choose to pick up the call or not uh, i'll just have a video on screen that shows that feature you also have a brand new games app so this is uh, effectively just the game center 2.0 and so i'm not signed in with uh, the game center here but if i get my iphone 16 pro and i go into the new games app you can see here if i go to home it's going to show all of your games and even games you haven't installed so you can tap on the game and it will load it up directly but you can also install new games so this is bloons td i can tap the download and it won't bring me to, into the app store. It will natively download that game, which is very convenient. And there's also a play together feature. So if you want to you know, play with friends, you can just tap two players and then invite them to play 1v1 in supported video games. There are also changes to the messages. So if I go into here, and so if I go to the polls, it doesn't show the poll option, but there we go, you can see there is a poll, and to do those, you tap on plus, and you have the new polls option, and then you can create one, you can tap to choose yes or no. Now another thing as well, is when you're in a group chat, now if someone is sending you a bunch of messages, you can actually see who is typing out before you just see a bubble, but now it actually says who is typing in that bubble, which is extremely useful. And also, if you have a contact poster created, it will actually show up in the background of your iMessage, uh, which is you know, very nice. It will have a dynamic chat background. And so there's one more thing. If I go here, there is now this new spam area. So if you go into the spam, you can see messages which are filtered out as spam or misleading. And so you can you know, check them out, remove them. But verification codes, like one-time codes, those will not be filtered into spam. They will still show up in your main area. So as far as new features, that's how it goes. But what about performance? Well, um, it's not looking very good. So I have used iOS 26, and it just feels really choppy and slow. And I mean, this is in part to be, to be expected because this is beta 1. This is not the public release, this is beta one. But I just wanna give you a little story, which is I used to have iPad mini five. It was running iOS 12. It ran iOS 12 without any lag, any problems. And then I updated it to iOS 15, still the same story. But then I updated it to iOS 18 and it completely crippled the performance of the device. It felt like a completely different iPad. It felt like a very slow iPad. And so I can't use that iPad anymore because of the software update. So just be very very careful you all, if you do want to update to this software, it is extremely laggy right now. And so I personally cannot recommend updating to this software. However, if you want to check out the new features, your cave a little bit of lag, then why not try it out? And so this is what's new with the iOS 26 in iPhone 11, and I hope this video helped you out.